Welcome in to Fire Mountain Gems and Beads. I'm Patty, I'm a jewelry designer here. And today we're looking at torches. If you want to be first on all of those sales and specials, sign up for our email newsletter. I really want to demystify the torch for you. Um, if you don't have a lot of experience with them, you don't really understand the differences or the similarities, let's just put that all out for you so you'll have a good basis for choosing a torch for yourself. So we're going to be looking at the five different torches that Fire Mountain offers to you. We're going to start with the smallest of our torches, which is this cute little hyper torch. Isn't that adorable? Um, this is the smallest of our torches. Um, it does have the smallest tank at a 15 milliliter tank, so it won't have a huge, long, continuous runtime but it does get to a nice 2450 degrees. I really like that about this torch. It's also a three in one, so it's a little different than all of our other torches. Our other torches just have one purpose, to turn on and off. But this one actually has a torch, um, a soldering iron, as well as a heat blower. So let me show you how this one works. Um, this one does have a manual start, so you will need a, um, a lighter source or um, a spark or something like that. Um, it's very simple to do, but before I turn on my torch, um, as with any torch, put on some safety glasses, protect your eyes or a face shield, and make sure if you have long hair, it's not hanging anywhere near your flame. Um, also, loose clothing should be out and away from your flame. All right, so to turn on this torch for the torch part of it, you're just going to push on the on button and then light it. Very simple, you've got your little flame here. The flame is very small and very directed. That's one of the real benefits of this. If you wanna do something small like soldering a jump ring, you're gonna get your heat right in the place where you want it. To turn it off, you just flip the switch off. Now to use the other pieces of this, um, if you want the heat blower, you add this little adapter. It goes right over there, just screws on, and you just pull it out. And again, you turn it on and we'll light it through there. And we do have a little flame at the end, so you can adjust that so it's just the heat blower. So that will just throw off heat if that's something you want to do, some embossing or something like that. To turn it off, you just turn it off. And last but not least, there's a little screw-on tip. Now this is a little warm, so I'm not going to screw that on now. A little screw-on tip that you screw right on there and you light it, and then you have your soldering iron. So really handy little tool. I really like this small torch. Um, it doesn't get super hot. Like I said, 2450 degrees, which is kind of milling for a torch. Um, let's look at our next two torches. Put that away. Um, our second two torches that we'll look at are the next biggest ones in our line, the micro torch and the max flame torch. You can see those. Um, I wanted to show these together because they are so similar. They both have a 22 milliliter tank. Um, they do take butane fuel, as does the HyperTorch. And um, they get to 2450 degrees as well. Um, so they're very similar in the way they operate, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, but in those features, where they differ is the tip. So you can see the tip on the micro torch is smaller. The tip on the max flame is bigger. So you'll get a more directed flame with the micro torch and a little bit larger flame um, with the max flame. And it just depends on what you want to do with those. If you want to get in and solder really tiny things in a directed way, the micro torch um, is really good. If you want more heat disbursement over a little bit larger area, say if you want to solder something a little bit larger, the max flame could be better for you. Let me show you how they work. We set the max flame aside and let's look at the micro torch. The micro torch comes with a little stand that pops off when you're um, using it. You just set that aside. Always keep it right next to you though. That way when you're finished with the torch, you can put it right back in there for safety. 
Um, we don't want the hot parts of the torch touching the table or other things if we can help it. So I'll go ahead and pull down on the safety, push the ignition, and there we have our flame. Now to make that continuous, I just push on the little side button there and I have a nice continuous flame. To turn that off, I just click the ignition switch again. That simple. Now the max flame is very similar in the way that it works. It also has a little pop-off base, a little safety, an igniter, and a continuous switch. The little difference here, um, this side is your fuel regulator, same on the uh, micro torch too. So we just go ahead and pull down on the safety and push the ignition, there you get your flame. Slide the slider here and you've got your continuous flame. To turn it off, you just click that slider to the other direction. Very simple. The next torch that I want to show you is the Torch Burner Professional. Now this one is quite different from the first three because it doesn't have a built-in tank. So it is its own little unit here. This is your torch. And you just put it on the butane tank and click it sideways. And there you have your torch. To use this, there's a fuel regulator in the back here. We'll turn that and then pull the trigger and then we'll have the flame. So let's go ahead and try that. and then just turn it until you hear the fuel and then pull the trigger. And you can see you have a really nice big flame with this one. Great for heating over a more expansive area. And to turn it off, you just take the fuel away. Just turn that dial. Very simple. The last torch that I wanna show you is the Euro Tool Handy Flame 2. I really like this torch. It's quite different from the other ones that we offer. So let me show you that. Um, we'll be turning it on, so I'll put my glasses on. This torch has um, a handle here where your flame comes out, your ignition. It's got an automatic ignition, which is really nice. It's got a nice long hose that attaches to a propane tank. So this is a propane uh, torch rather than butane like the other ones. Um, you can use these little camping size propane tanks. Um, you can also use a larger propane tank um, as long as it has the same size uh, valve here at the top. So there's a little regulator that we're going to use. Now the regulator is here, not on the handle. So you're going to need two hands free to use this torch because while you're holding the torch when it's lit, you've got to be able to turn the regulator back off. So make sure and have two hands free. So in order to use this torch, I'm going to just turn the regulator until I hear fuel coming out. Takes a little bit. There it is. And then I just push the igniter. See, it's a really nice, steady, large flame, but it does get fairly directed, more directed, I think, than the Torch Burner Professional. To turn this off, I'm going to go back to my regulator and just turn that until the fuel is cut off and it's nice and tight. And then when I put this down, because it doesn't have a stand, I'm going to put that on something heat resistant, like this little firing block here. The really great things about this Euro Tool Handy Flame 2 um, are that it gets really hot. So this one gets up to a max 3,700 degrees, whereas the other one, the max really was 2,450. So that's quite a difference. This one's really good if you want to anneal larger pieces of metal, if you want to fire certain types of precious metal clay, um, if you want to have a flame that covers more area at one time. Uh, it's also really good for enameling. Okay. Well, I hope that that's helped you um, have more understanding of torches um, so you can go forward choosing a torch that's really good for you and your projects. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>